welcome back to Parks Soaps and Parsimony. I have been wanting to make a strawberry cream cheese tart and today it is finally the weather has turned cool enough to be able to use the stove and make this and I thought I would bring you guys along. If you're looking for the printable version of this recipe you will find that link down in the description below. Really easy, really simple and it'll be a perfect dessert for summertime and strawberry season which is here right now. For this recipe, you'll need one pint of strawberries, hauled and divided, plus a few more for the top if you want it to look really pretty. You also need two and a third cup of sugar, plus an additional two tablespoons. You'll need two cups of finely crushed graham crackers, a half a cup of butter melted, two eight ounce packages of cream cheese, make sure they've been left out or you soften them before using them two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one cup of heavy cream. As much as I would love this video to be a professional, really nice looking cooking video, the reality is I'm a mom and I'm just cooking because I love food and this just seemed like it was the thing to make today. So no professional cooking video here. We're just gonna have fun cooking. I hope you'll try this recipe. If you do, let me know over on the community page what you think of it and what is one of your favorite ways to use strawberries. So I, without further ado, I'm gonna start hauling these strawberries, getting them prepped and cooking because they're gonna have to cook down until they're half of what they are after that juice has cooked down so we can put that inside the tart. Well, the strawberry puree is reducing down to half. Strawberry hulls will go out to the chickens or if you have a compost pile, you can throw them in the compost pile. And I'm gonna start working on the graham crackers. Now it says we need two cups of crushed graham crackers. I don't think one package is gonna be enough. I think I'm gonna need at least one and a half or two packages. But I'm gonna use my mini chopper here. Um, this thing is a workhorse. I have used it for so many years, picked it up in an estate sale. Um, this is a great way to make really fine graham cracker crumbs. If you don't have a food processor like this, plastic bag and a rolling pin work just as well. Um, it doesn't get quite as fine, but it will work just fine. So if you need to, you can also use that. about a half a cup there. We'll keep going. Hey Daniel, what's up? I saved one just for you. What do you say? No, you say thank you. You're welcome, Daniel. I saved one for you. I want the mama. 
Oh, God. Um, nope. I need this for my recipe, so hang on. Here. I need this. Mommy's cooking with graham crackers. I'm going to go ahead and melt this butter. This is the equivalent of a half of cup or one stick of butter. And then I have my two cups of graham crackers. Once this is melted, I'm going to mix the two together. Then I'm going to press it into a spring form pan. Add the graham crackers to that, and then we will gently mix it. Mix it. You want to help, Daniel? Okay, there you go. Gently mix it. Gently, gently. Good job. Oh, don't spill it. Yeah, don't spill it. I have a nine-inch springform pan here. I'm going to pour this into that and spread it up the sides, and then we're going to freeze this and make sure this gets really cold before we make the filling. Put this in. Yep, go ahead, let it in. That's right. How do, I, how do you make it hot? How did I make it hot? I put it in the microwave and started. Oh. Keep going, dump it in. Keep going, Daniel. Here, what we'll do, we'll dump some of it and you can finish up pouring the rest, okay? There you go. Yep, put it in. Keep going there, Pee Wee. Dump it in. So this is all spread out. I put it up as far as I can up the side of the pan. It didn't want to stay up very high today. So it is what it is. You can see it's just a little up. I'm going to go toss this in the freezer and then start the filling. That's the strawberries that we cooked down. It, I think it reduced about half. I'm going to leave this out to cool down to room temperature. While this is cooling down, I'm going to start making the filling. I took two blocks of cream cheese and softened them up. And I'm just going to add them right to my stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, a regular hand mixer will work just as well. Just put it on number one, please. <gasps> just number one. This is all beaten, it's nice and soft. I'm gonna add the strawberries to this, which have cooled, as well as the sugar and the vanilla. So I had to beat this for about five minutes and you can see it's pretty smooth now. So I'm gonna add one cup, go ahead Mary, you can add that one cup of heavy, heavy whipping cream into this. And then we're going to whip this until it's fluffy and some soft peaks are starting to form. I think this is done. So I'm gonna pour it in the spring form pan and then put it in the refrigerator. Mom's pouring this stuff in. Yes. Look at how it comes out. It comes out like way 
<laughs> it will be delicious. I'm gonna leave the tart in the refrigerator for several hours until it's chilled thoroughly. I'm gonna sit down and have dinner with my kiddos and we'll check this out later tonight and I'll sh hopefully show you guys what it looks like and hopefully it'll come out of the pan like it's supposed to. If you're new to Parsnips and Parse Money, I have a track record of things not coming out of the pan like they're supposed to, so we'll see. But keep watching in the magic of videos. You're going to see that next. It's been several hours and the tart has just been sitting in the refrigerator. I just popped it out of the spring form pan. This is what it looks like. I wish I could get the camera to capture the real color. It is so pretty and pink and it looks good. So I'll cut it and we'll see how it comes out. I'm thinking I probably could have beat the whipped cream a little bit more. It seems a little runny. And if you were serving this for company, you could definitely decorate with strawberries on top. So the verdict is, it's definitely make again. I would consider whipping the whipped cream maybe before adding it to the filling the cream cheese because it just still seemed a little bit runny. And I don't know if I didn't whip the heavy cream enough or I don't know what it was. But whatever the case, very rich, very delicious. A small piece goes a long ways. Definitely a make again. Art thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm so glad I could take you guys along with me while I made it. I hope this inspires you to try the recipe if you like cheesecake. I will put the recipe down in the description below. So if you want to print that out, you can certainly do that and try the recipe for yourself. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thanks so much for watching and coming along with me today. And we'll see you for our next video. Good night.